Well, fellas, here we are, first night of being officially QRV with the uh, Noga QRP Club uh, Twin Tube baiting. Um, so excited, I uh, forgot to turn the camera on here and capture that I just QSO'd with W1 PID. Man, he was weak, and we worked for about 10 minutes to pull it out. But uh, we're going to try to call CQ here again and uh, see if anybody else hears us. Turn down the actual radio itself, my receiver. Too much power from the Swan speaker. You can hear we have some static crashes. I'm not hearing anybody else right away, but I did hear W1PID. Let me see if you can uh, see some awesome glow-in-the-dark radio here. Oh, I'm going to switch it to transmit. Manual transmission switch there. It gets kind of annoying. Turn the light back on. Just hoping that you'd kind of be able to see the glow in the dark uh, radio here, glow blue around the envelope of the this tube right here. But camera didn't pick up that frequency. So glad I got to work W1 PID. He was about a, a 229, that's what I gave him. A 229. To me, I don't know what power he was running. He gave me a 559. That's kind of the QRP standard. But um, I got a 229 from him. So um, I was glad to get it too. I'm going to call CQ again here. Well, you can hear the digi guys, but hopefully uh, my CQ can be heard by somebody out there. Remember to uh, Viva la CBLA.